Lenders and gear motor. It's gear reduction. Gear ratio 44 to 55. That's the motor cam. Start and stop. And then the gearbox with the ratio is 2.5 to 1. So we have the two take out discs. Opto heads on the side. 24 volt relay, which is impulse to the Björk master clock. And all back in place, close stop. Here we can see one of the older TNN movements. This particular one has an AEG synchronous motor, rated for 220 volts, in a uh, 6, 12, or 24 volt coil to operate the minutes. And it impels any tone now. Telephone by on normal outside 703746. That's the drive behind this clock. Der und ein. Position of the second hand closest to the glass. Another thing I often do is add in a uh, 1 kilo ohm resistor, 1 volt in series with the motor. It's a 220 volt motor, but in New Zealand we use 240 volts AC, 50 hertz. Uh, just to minimize stress on the motor windings. This is the look of a TNN movement with uh, 1 second impulses, uh, driven from the external techo. That's the movement from uh, this TNN clock. As you can hear, this is the Zugzeiger TNN clock with two and a half seconds impulse. The Zugzeiger sits closest to the dial, the nameplate of the clock. And this is the movement from the Zugzeiger uh, in red. Two and a half seconds, and that's the call. It's an enclosed movement. And the minutes on this side, 6, 12 and 24 volts DC. Click any event happen. <laughs> 